What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I just barely got back from filming the video that you guys just barely saw on Wednesday and this thing is covered like it's filthy. You'll see better what I mean when I get it pulled into the garage, but first I gotta pull out the Mustang, so we're gonna get a quick cold start. <laughs> There is no traction with this thing whatsoever in the snow. Jeez. Oh, Rear wheel drive in snow is definitely not a good combination. My gosh guys the sound of this mustang is so good i can smell the tires guys we got the tires hard hot enough to smell them literally in the middle of the winter tires hot enough to smell them let's go <laughs> seriously such a blast I don't have much experience with like V8 cars, but driving one in the snow is totally just a blast. Especially with rear wheel drive, it does not do good at all. Like there's no way I could drive this thing around town in the winter, but it does very good for a spin class here in the driveway. Okay, so I'm gonna try to switch things up a little bit. Earlier I had my Mustang over there. I'm gonna try to center the Mustang in the garage. Hopefully I can squeeze it through and hopefully I can get traction to even get in the garage because it's all ice right there, right where I washed the car. All the water like ran out. So now I've got literally just like a thick layer of ice right at the door. To say that was difficult to get us in the garage is definitely an understatement. This thing did not want to move at all. To jump into the title and thumbnail of this video, we gotta head over to that side of the garage. For those of you that are new here to the channel, this is my brand new, well not brand new, it's a 1999 R34 Skyline GTR and I just barely picked this car up literally like a week ago. I wanna tell you guys a little bit about the mods that I've bought for this car so far. I've done a lot. Starting off, I got a brand new steering wheel. That'll be here probably next week, hopefully. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Also, I bought some performance parts. As you can see, this car came with a Nismo fine spec engine, and this thing looks so good. I love the looks of the RB26, but we got a lot of work to do under the hood because it doesn't quite look good enough. Also, it doesn't sound good enough. With that being said, I guarantee you guys know exactly what the next mod is. I bought a ton of titanium, and as you guys saw in the video that I did with Chandler David Smith's Corvette C8 that he bought from the Stradman, we built a beautiful exhaust for that at Power Needy. We're gonna be doing a catback exhaust all the way, and this thing's gonna be fully titanium. I cannot wait. It's gonna be an absolute beast with this exhaust on. Also, we got some ideas for the intake, so hopefully all of this will be titanium as well. Yes, I got new turbos. I cannot wait to show you guys. This thing's gonna be so much more fun, but it's gonna sound so good. It's gonna sound like the JDM legend that we all know as the R34 GTR, because right now, it definitely doesn't. You see all the videos and stuff online, and this thing, I mean, it, it looks so cool on videos because all these people have modified GTRs, and this one's bone stock, so I gotta get this thing up there and running just like all the other ones that I lived to love as a little kid. I'm so excited to get started on this build. As I said, guys, so many things going on. Also, I'm trying to decide on what color to wrap the car. If any of you guys have any ideas, I thought about maybe doing it the same blue that I have on my R35 GTR, but maybe I would do like a silver with like blue stripes. You guys let me know in the comments down below. I will definitely be responding to all of your guys' comments and reading them, so if you guys have any ideas as far as this car, let me know. 
Now I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering why am I filming a video right after I finished another video and the reason for that is because I have an unexpected trip coming up this weekend so I won't have time to film a video for Friday. So I'm just filming it today so that I could edit and post it. It'll be live on Friday. Sorry that it's so short but that's going to be all for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did make sure to drop a like on it and if you're not subscribed yet make sure to do yourself a favor and click that subscribe button. But with all that being said I will see you guys in the next one. Uno, dos, tres. You know what she said to me? She said...